In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can run the best bunch tight end offense in Madden 22. What is going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to make sure to remind you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I've said in the past, I uh, upload videos every single day and my channel's focus is to help people get better at this game. And there's no way to get better at this game, in my personal opinion, than to join my text message membership. If you're new to the channel, uh, what my text message membership is, is it is the best way to not only get your questions answered in Madden 22, but also it's the best way, in my opinion, that you can actually get free offensive and defensive eBooks or offensive and defensive guides um, that you could get at other websites you pay for that here we do all that stuff for free every single week we release a free version of that so if you want to get access to those guides all you have to do is text the word madden to 208-218-6900 so pull out your cell phone text the word madden to 208-218-6900 now i'm going to go out on a limb here in this video and say that if you're watching this video um, you're probably trying to figure out, okay, what are some really good plays? What are some really good concepts that I can start the year out in um, out of the out of the Madden 22 and have some success on offense? And I'm here to tell you that the bunch tight end is still an incredible, incredible offensive formation. This is in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. I believe Seattle, if you're going to be running gun bunch, is the best playbook. It's got the bunch. It's also got the bunch tight end. And it also has this bunch open, which I think is super underrated. And then it also has this trips tight end offset. So there's a lot of really good formations within this form or within this playbook. And I'm going to be going over in this video everyone's favorite play from Madden 21, PA boot over. And we're going to be talking to you today about a little trick that you can use to still make this one of the best plays in Madden. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that the man coverage glitch still exists in Madden 22 because it doesn't. But to be quite honest with you, that really does not matter. Um, if we take a look at this, I'm just going to go over first and foremost against man to man. And all we're going to do is we're just going to put the tight end on a delay fade. We're going to double team that outside linebacker. And we're just going to snap the ball. And I want, to, I want you to watch what happens. I'm just rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And look at what you can do here. You see that I can just scramble. Now, that's Tom Brady picking up. 10 to 15 yards okay so what that's going to force their opponent to do is it's going to force them to take one of their people that is in man-to-man -man coverage and put or, or blitzing and put him on a quarterback spot so yes the guy will stay with the tight end but now he gives up the scramble and so as that quarterback spy is coming over here and you're reading this what you can do is you can easily hit that crossing route that crossing route to the circle receiver kills man coverage in this year's game it's really really consistent uh against man-to-man -man coverage whether it gets pressed or not is really irrelevant it's a very consistent read for you against man-to-man -man coverage now let's come back to this tight end route and let's talk about this against man if we want to set that tight end up to be effective against man the way that we would do that in this year's game if they're showing man coverage and please notice what happened you're going to notice here that if I go to zone coverage, I want you to watch. You're going to notice that this cornerback on the right now moves over to the right side. When I go to main coverage, look what happens. He moves to the left side. This is an automatic tell whether they are in main or zone. Bunch tight end is now just as good at trips tight end at telling you pre-snap, are they in main coverage or are they in zone coverage? Okay, so if you get this zone read or man read right here, I love to put the tight end on delay drag. And basically, whenever I'm rolling out, just release him and look at that little crosser and that kills man coverage. It's real simple. It's a really easy way that you can make this really good against, uh, really good against man. Now you might be asking, well, Cody, how are the contains in Madden 22? Well, I'm going to blitz everybody. I'm going to blitz six and I'm going to put a contain on that outside guy. And I just want you to watch what happens. You're going to see that that contain does, but you see you get that seal block and you're still able to get out of the pocket. In essence, the contains don't contain, even if they're sending several players at the opponent. Let's talk about last year's tactic. Last year's tactic was they would basically take this guy and they would move him manually outside so that that defensive tackle in the middle is on the contain. But if you take a look at the play art, 
you're gonna see that nobody's containing now. This is a new feature. This is a new thing about Madden 22. We can't double team that outside guy, but what we can do is we can really isolate him. And see here, for the most part, it does do the same thing. But if we see that, and they're blitzing so many people, just step up in the pocket and make read. Okay? So not only is this good, but then what they're going to have to start doing is we're not only able to beat their man coverage, which I want to go over the other two routes on this play. And that's the post route to the, or the crosser to Godwin. This crosser to Godwin is once again the best route in Madden 22. Um, take a look at that crosser. It's actually better than it was last year. And the reason why it's better than it was last year is because in this year's game, it runs at a specific type of, in a specific type of way that really makes it get to the spot a lot faster and it allows it to really be a great read um, against man and zone coverages. Now the last play or the last little route that I want to hit on um, is this route to the square receiver. You're going to see this deep, deep post route. And I want you just to watch what happens here. Now notice that it does get covered, but I want to be really clear in it showing you this little example. When somebody sees bunch tied in, I would venture to say that there's a lot of opportunity for them to do this adjustment right here, which is to put that guy in a purple zone. If they do that, if they put that guy in a purple zone, watch what's going to happen to that post. You're going to see that post is now going to be a one-play touchdown. As long as Brady can get in the ball, it's a one-play touchdown. Okay? Let me show it to you one more time. And again, all we're going to do is we're just going to take this guy right here and we're going to put him in a purple zone. And then, you know, or... Um, better yet, we're going to put him in a deep third. Okay, put him in a deep third. So that's pretty good coverage. Nobody would tell you that that's bad coverage or unsound coverage against a bunch tied in. But watch this post route this year. This year, this post route gets really good separation against man. And look at that. Look at what it does. Over the top, one play score against cover one on the right and cover two on the left. Now, what if they run cover two? And you want to be able to, and you want to be able to beat it over the top. Well, really simple. All we're going to do is we're just going to motion square to the left and snap the ball. What you're going to see is this is going to really give us a little bit better spacing and a little bit better time management. And as you see right here, we're going to get inside position. Now, I'm not going to tell you that that's going to every single time be open 100% against cover two man. But what I am going to tell you is with about 80% accuracy, it will. If you motion this guy out to about the numbers, right about there, what you're gonna see here is as long as you have time in the pocket, pass lead him to the inside, and it's a one play touchdown against cover two man. Everyone thinks cover two man is unbump or un unbombable, and as we're showing you right here, it's really not, okay? So really, really good against cover two man. So now let's talk a little bit about zone coverage. We've first established the fact that if they blitz us, and I wanna go over the blitz here just a second, we're going to use the same exact setup, but as we can see, if that corner is on the right side of the field, we're going to put our tight end on delay fade as opposed to that delay cross. And what you're going to see now is if they try to blitz us, and right there, um, that, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got through there. Let me show this to you again. But if they try to blitz us, this year's game, I didn't think it would be possible but this year's game is actually better than Madden 21 current gen for throwing flat routes. What I mean by that is watch this little drag always get consistent separation every single time. So if they blitz us, they have to go guard the drag route. Not to mention the fact that their blitzes will pretty much never get home. And if they guard the drag route with their user, now there's no one over the top and this is a little trick, and, and i got to show it to you one more time, a little bit better pass angle. But when they're cover three and they press, very specific to a press cover three alignment, this is something that was really good in Madden 20, and it's something that was really good in Madden 19. Take a look at this triangle receiver. Just basically lob it over the top, and I'm throwing it a little bit too early. But what you're going to see is he's getting over the third. A pressed outside third deserves a bomb over the top. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So again here, I'm gonna just try to get this real quick. Pass lead, and I can't quite get the pass lead. Brady's killing me a little bit here. But trust me when I tell you that that route is a pretty darn close to being a really consistent bomb out of cover three. The only thing that's really important to get that bomb is to make sure that you're moving that guy to the outside. And then when you roll out, that's more of what I'm looking for right there. See how he gets over the top of him? 
And again, you really want to try to get that trajectory up a little bit more. So I'm going to show that one more time. And just for the sake of the video, I want to give myself a little bit more time just so I can show you the route. Um, so again, you're just going this way. And if you watch here, now look here, you're going to notice that that crosser, that outside third, um, that crossing route uh, from the outside third, uh, again, we, we've got to make sure that we motion. It's really, really important that we make sure that we motion square. Um, I didn't do it on that last, I forgot to. So let's motion him. And the reason why is because there's no vertical route in the grid of that player. That's that's kind of more what we're looking for. And for whatever reason, Brady's not giving me the proper pass lead. I'm trying to lob it up, but you see that he has vertical positioning on the player. And that's really the important thing that I wanted to showcase. Um, and let me show it one more time here. And then we'll go over the rest of the play. But what you're going to see is, again, I'm just going to motion this guy's numbers. Get this out here. There, that you see, I guess this little step on him, and then you can make this little possession catch on the outside. Okay, now if you don't want to throw that ball, that's understandable. Uh, what you can do though is basically take uh, the crossing route later in the play. So you just wait, all you gotta do is just wait. So I'm not gonna lob it here now. And what you're gonna see is I'm just gonna bullet pass down. I don't know what 88's doing or 98 or whatever he's doing. Uh, he's matching out of no for no reason. So let me show you. Let me show you with that because you're not going to get match as much with this. And if you do, you're going to kill match. But let me show you this crosser. There. See how you can still throw it. And I know it looks covered, but I'm telling you right now, it's actually more open than you might think. Okay. So that is um, the crossing route against cover three. I want to show you some other routes. I want to show you the post route real quick. And I just, you know, again, the post route might not get open 100%, but I just want you to see it uh, because I want you, I want to show you every route. And then we're going to go over the delay fade. The delay fade against zone is wicked good. Uh, it's actually better, in my opinion, than it was last year. So watch this. Uh, this is a problem with cover three this year. You're going to see that that uh, middle third is not going to cover that post. Last year, the middle third would guard the post. This year, it's not exactly the case. You're going to have a lot of opportunity. As long as you can get some time in the pocket, you can throw this post. Um, and again, you know, kind of snap it quick if you think it's zone. But look at this right here. Pass leader right. And you get that animation every time. Okay. So you're bombing cover three over the top. Now, uh, the next thing I want to go over is I want to go over how this tight end route really does uh, a really good job against against zone coverage even if there's a vertical hook there and i'm going to put a vertical hook over on that side just to show this and what you're going to see is again we're just going to release the delay fade and watch him just climb see how the zones leave him alone and he's able to absolutely dot up the cover three now i want to spend just a few more minutes on this play and i want to show you how we can actually bomb um tampa 2 as well so we're just going to go to tampa 2 here and this is another great uh, concept for Tampa 2. So, again, that's all your setup. You just motion this guy out just a smidge, snap the ball, and take a look at this crossing route. You see that it not only is it open, and I should have possession cut, but not only is it open against Tampa 2, as you saw clearly, it's wide open. Tampa 2 is just not something that you want to run at least this point in the year. Um, if they patch it, you know, hopefully, but it's not a good defense. But let's, let me show you what's going to happen. Watch this deep half just get completely glitched out. He's going to go to the right, and then all you're going to do is basically you're going to have one-on-one -on -one over the top. Now, Mike Evans right there kind of failed me. But, again, you've got that post isolated. And where you, where you really snap that post is really critical, uh, in my opinion, to the success of the post route. But as long as you snap the ball in a pretty good spot, you're going to have a pretty good chance uh, to bomb this. So, again, we're just going to motion him out. Snap the ball and watch. He gets a step on him. And there they actually played it pretty well. Now, normally that's going to be the user. So I just want you to prepare you for that. Because if it's the user and the user goes to the crossing route, this is what you're going to see. Okay. And most of the time you will. User goes to the crossing route. Son of a gun. These stupid practice mode sheds. Let me show you this one more time. 
So the user goes to the crossing route. This is why I don't ever blitz anybody because in practice mode, like the sheds are unreal this year, even worse than they were last year. But watch this post. Pass lead it inside, inside position, and you're off to the races. So this beats cover three, cover two, cover two man, beats everything. And now we're gonna show you this coverage against match. Look at the cues that you're getting. You're seeing that this um, really does set up coverage that looks very similar to a trip side in almost type of pre-snap read, which is even more helpful to the offense. So again, let me just show you this first and foremost. Um, the first thing I wanna show you is the skinny post. Now the skinny post is not normally gonna be a match beater unless they adjust the match. But what I mean by that, uh, before I go too far, I wanna show this because this is the type of match you will see from a lot of pro players. They're gonna put this guy in a deep half because they think it's gonna keep him safe from some of the bombs. Yes, it will keep him safe from exclamation point on some of the bombs, not all the bombs. Okay, so watch this post. And look, you've got no man's land. You've either got your crosser or you've got your post route. Your crosser is your most consistent route um, against match, either your crosser or your both your crossing routes. Uh, triangle is really good against match. You're going to see you can rat catch that upfield and really be very consistent against match. You've also got your tight end route that's going to be very good against match as well. So that's cover for, uh, cover for match and how to beat it. Now I want to go over one last coverage, and that's the cover for drop. And I just want to show you kind of how the cover for drop defends this. So right here, I want you to watch here. You're going to see that the square receiver um, is going to just absolutely torch cover for drop for a one play touchdown. Okay, as you saw right there, real simple, real smooth. Um, this coverage or this play is still really, really, really good. And so I would encourage you if you want a very simple offense to run day one of Madden 22, uh, this is probably it. I mean, this thing is really, really good. The cover four drop is just not going to be able to hang with this. The cover four drop is interesting because it's actually similar. Um, this year's game more so than I've ever seen it. The cover four and the cover three have a lot of similarities in terms of what routes are going to glitch them out. And again, with the crosser, you're going to see here the crosser is going to get a little bit, little bit more over the top of a cover four. So if you want to try to throw that, you certainly can. I don't, um, I don't want to spend too much time on that because we've talked about that with the cover three. But if they're, you know, again, if they're cover four, you do that little motion. That motion, um, you're going to see here. Uh, you'll see just wait on it. And the motion actually kind of kills the cover four beater. But again, you know, the, the, the motion is actually really, again, this is more of a pre-snap thing. The motion is primarily to help you beat cover two and primarily to help you beat cover two man specifically. So if you see a corner on the numbers, we talked about that pre-snap read, you don't necessarily need to worry about man. So now you can do this and this is gonna kill cover four over the top for an absolute laser. Okay, so that's PA boot over, Madden 22 style. Um, there's a lot more that we can do with this play, but I wanted to get this out, and I wanted to talk to you uh, a little bit about this play. This play is awesome, and I would really encourage you, if you want to be successful on offense in Madden 22, to start running this play. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get um, all of my Madden 22 schemes that I'm going to be releasing in my text message membership completely for free, we've got over 20 planned right now with more on the way. Uh, so text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, I believe this channel is going to be the best uh, resource to be able to help you do that. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be going live a lot over the course of the next week. And also, really quickly, just want to continue to reiterate, um, Bunch tight end is still very good. And so I would encourage you, the Seattle Bunch or Seattle Book is really good. Be sure to dive into it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And uh, just a little sneak peek, there might be an ebook on the way out by me uh, from the Seattle Playbook. Thanks for your time.